What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Madden 24 No Money Spent series. Today we've got a lot to go over, but before we even start, I just want to read something to y'all. The last No Money Spent video that we put out had 343 views and 10 likes in 10 days. So again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support on these No Money Spent videos. Again, this is the one that takes the most grinding, so it really is nice that you guys actually appreciate and are, are liking what you're seeing. Also, before we move on, we're only two subscribers away from the goal of 50, and if you're wondering when the finish line is for that mark, it's when we hit a 99 on the No Money Spent team. So. I've never finished the No Money Spent series. The goal is to get to a 99 and be done right there. So technically 95% of the way there, but still we've got a lot of work left to do. So if you haven't checked out the spending spree, I definitely recommend going and check that out. So it makes sense why we have the players we do. But for those of you that have over on defense, again, this is what we're looking like. Uh, not a lot of spots that we can upgrade right now, but again, we finally got the Carl Weathers done. We can go ahead and take a look at that. Had to do the sets, but it's cool because you don't have to do a champion set. You can do a hero set, which is like a 95 and still get credit for it. But 95 speed, 96 acceleration, 80 strength, 94 tackling, 94 player rec, which is a big thing in the 4-3. 94 block shedding with 81 power moves and 97 finesse moves. It's coming in with 91 as well as 81 man coverage. And that's fine with me because technically he is the weak link on our linebacker core. So of course, I'll be using him. I think that's the only upgrade that we've got. These guys have all been playing pretty well. It's taken me a little bit to get Tyreek Hill implemented into the scheme, but now that I've got him moving, he's playing pretty solidly. 11 on open packs. Technically, it's 10 because it's that one pack that everybody has, uh, but we've got a 97 overall pack, a 98 overall pack, so we are going to have two big upgrades today, so we're definitely going to go up to a 96. Don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see more content like this, and if you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. I'm wondering what that opportunity pack is. I, I haven't read anything on it. I've really been out of the loop, so if you guys have any ideas or know... Let me know in the comments because it's interesting that it's locked. I don't understand why it would be locked unless it's like a, a thing for next year's mud. Mm, nothing good so far. We're getting a bunch of old cards. I guess 93 Romeo Dunes is good. Hopefully some quality packs. Maybe we get lucky out of them. I would like a Ultimate Legend maybe? A Ring of Honor would be insane. Okay. Two 90s though. That's, that's cool, right? And nothing. Another 90 though. Three straight 90s. Now we got three straight Star Elite packs. I need one of these to be good. All right, 88 Bo Jackson, that's all right. 82 J.K. Scott and 91 Kentrell Clark. 88, okay, 93. Uh, ah, I said 93 plus, right? Pick up this 97. I don't know necessarily what our options are, uh, but I'm finally glad to have this done. This is take, oh, you know what? I forgot. I know exactly who we're going to take right now. I was going to save this move for the main team, but golly, when we had Patrick Willis on the team, he was absolutely amazing. Again, 97 overall at 6'1". He's going to be compared against Ray Lewis, who will be replacing 96 speed. So I didn't know Ray Lewis was that slow. But 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 91 strength, 94 tackling, 92 play rec, 98 block shedding, 98 hit power with 96 zone coverage. Um, that's going to be everything we need. All right, last but definitely not least, 98 overall B&D Sugar Rush player. Let's see what our options are. Again, I really wasn't a fan of this promo. I didn't think there was a lot of good cards to come out of it. But this last choice comes down to a difficult one. It's actually between Marshawn Lattimore and Nico Collins. Again, we have 96 Jerry Rice, and he would be a perfect guy to replace him. He's got low short route running, so we're going to go ahead and take Marshawn Lattimore. Reason being is because we've got 97 Rondé Barber there, but he has no help on the outside. So again, six foot with 98 speed, 99 acceleration, 95 agility, 97 jumping, 93 play rec, 96 man coverage, 95 zone coverage, as well as 99 press. Normally when we have packs like that, I like to go offense and defense, but in this particular moment, uh, I feel like we need to go ahead and make some defensive changes. So go ahead and move Rondé Barber to CB1, which makes him line up against the number two wide receiver. And now we'll go ahead and put in Marshawn Lattimore. Again, he's 98 as well. Now the biggest change, the most exciting for me, 97 Patrick Willis, now 96 overall. And with that, he actually went up to a 98 like I expected. We can move Ray Lewis to number two. So now, again, the linebacking course should be absolutely unstoppable. We'll be using Carl Weathers most of the time. But I'm I'm loving this team. Already a 96 overall. Again, it's going to be hard to upgrade from here, but now is where our coins are going to play a big, big part. We're really going to have to start picking out what spots are low. Obviously, the offensive line. 
We could probably replace the right tackle and go up to a 96 offense. Technically, since we got everybody for free, this isn't a spending spree. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and replace that, that 92 right tackle. All right, there we go. We had a 94 John Runyon. Wished we could have pulled an offensive lineman. That would have been great. Not a 96 offense, but 96 overall as a whole. Let's hit the field. Here we go, starting out on defense. So we don't get to see Vince Young right away, but it's all right. Patrick Willis is here. Carl Weathers is here. And we're going to see how good of a user Carl Weathers is. He's got Lurk Artist, so there should really be no difference. But I think he's like 6'1 versus the 6'3 people that we're used to having outside. So hopefully it doesn't affect how he jumps for the ball. This guy is chewing all the clock all the way down. For a TFL? Okay, for a couple yards. I give him that. Third and five. This guy's staying committed to this formation. Let's just not give up anything easy. Okay, there we go. Aiden Hutchinson. Fight. Aiden Hutchinson played insane zone. I just, I didn't think he was going to do that. One time that he gets me not using Aiden Hutchinson, he made me pay for it. I guess it's the defensive end, but... We gotta figure that out. Oh my god, don't run just looking so- Oh, Patrick Willis, that's insane! He looks fast right there. There's absolutely one. Oh, pressure right there. So we just gotta make a play over the top. And, okay, you're gonna run. Hopefully this guy is so used to running that he's not too comfortable passing. And maybe we make him make a mistake. Because right now I gotta put a lot of pressure on him. All out man blitz. So just as long as I do my job. Everybody should be fine! I said it right away! Cheesing the run. He should leave himself open to the pass. Mistake. There we go! What a juke! Eric Berry down at the three. Let's go, dog. Oh, man, I called it. As much as I want to do something silly right here, I just want to get in the end zone and show this guy that he wasted all that time. Let's go, Christian McCaffrey. That's what I'm talking about. Back on defense, he's once again coming out in this I form, so we just have to watch the pass on the outside. Nothing easy, nothing dumb. I'm over there. You better not throw that. Oh, my gosh, dude. Patrick Willis is so fast, and that's a sag. Let's go, DeForest. I think getting Patrick Willis was probably the best move I could have made. So I'm very confident with that move. I'm going to go ahead and be proud of that. I'm playing the outside, so nobody should be able to get anything over. Easy, swat that. Oh, and he still made the catch. I'm pressing everybody, and we're playing the pass. So you guys should be perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, and there's a blitz, and that's an interception. Oh, Fonwu, there you go, big guy. Oh, my gosh, one of the bigger upgrades that we've had. That's what happens. You just want to run ch meta cheese plays, and you don't know how to pass the ball. We'll take that. Vince Young, time to make some plays right here. We got 40 yards to cover. All we need is a touchdown. Very simple. We can do it. Wide open is Justin Jefferson right here. We hate that tackle. Go ahead and make Bruh. a juke. Oh, my God. Down. Stay in bounds. Down to the seven. I think it's time that we do a read option if they don't play it. Obviously, if they play, we're going to have to just run the ball regularly. Didn't play, but still look at those blow. Oh my God, no way. I don't think he's playing the option, so we should be able to walk it in. Truck him, get in there, Vince Young, down at the one. He did 3.1 yards and he got three. Damn, man, I hate this. Pure highway robbery right here. But again, as long as we don't have anybody jump our routes, we should be fine. That's a touchdown. There we go, Vince Young. What a throw. Justin Jefferson finally getting in the end zone. Entire drive was done by him. Let's just make something happen right here. Right now, I got to put a spy. That's the one thing that I have to do. And I guess I'll use your Carl Weathers. I, my hope is that he just doesn't try to go across the field like he has been. That's mine. That's too easy, dog. That is way too easy. That's a grade school interception. Carl Weathers, user pick, dog. Let's go. Vince Young, 100% with uh, one touchdown and 32 yards. We'll definitely take that. Here we go, game number two. This time, I remembered to put on the uniform, so we should be good to go. I liked what I saw in the first. I don't expect anything different from this one, so let's just keep up the good work, guys. Okay, Derrick Henry, he's going to do those things. I just had to sit there and watch that happen. I wasn't going to switch to him and take it as a user truck. Mm -mm, no, sir. But again... Carl Weathers. Oh, this is actually Bo Jackson. I forgot it flip-flops them. That's mine. Oh, never mind. Completely smoked me. Either way, good play. Good throw. But let's see if we can make a user pick right there. That's mine. Patrick Willis finally showing up. And it's only a second game with a user pick. Let's go. Patrick Willis is so good. Like, I know I said it in the first game, but I'm going to say it again. He is so good. He's just so fast, but he's also super agile, so he can turn on a dime. Let's see if we can complete this throw. There you go, Vince Young. Nice completion to Jerry Rice. Okay, pretty solid throw by Vince Young right there. I liked what I saw. Let's see if we can get a play action in here. Apparently, he's got decent play action, and I want to see just how good it is. Um, there you go. Oh, my God, he Bruh. got it off, and he completed it. What a throw. Vince Young is insane. There's times in our lives where we have to make real split-second decisions, and that was definitely one of them right there. Uh, something that I needed to happen in Jerry Rice again! Let's go! What a throw! Only Jerry Rice could get it. He had to beat that press, too, so thankfully he did, because if not, I was going the other way. 
We had to get that interception and get ourselves good field position, but I just like that. Vince Young absolutely dominated his drive down the field, and that's an interception. 6-5, Mike Evans. What a play. 91-92 overall. Doesn't matter. Another quit, but another 100% game by Vince Young. One touchdown, again, with 48 yards. Well, the 96 overall squad absolutely showing up. Jerry Rice was just making unbelievable catches in that second game, but still Vince Young able to complete that pass. 94 throw under pressure with 93 play action, and yet he was still able to complete that pass. No idea how he did it, but 94 speed as well as 97 throw on the run is definitely gonna open the game up for us. Again, I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. I know you guys are loving the no money spent content and I'm loving that as well. So I'm gonna keep trying to push these videos out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.